New Space India Limited, which is an ISRO's commercial arm, will launch GSAT 20 satellite on board SpaceX Falcon 9 during the second quarter of 2024. So we are discussing this because in 2024, uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 will be launching satellite GSAT 20. Okay. GSAT stands for Geostationary Satellite. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, uh, the uh, New Space India is uh, uh, limited is related to this. New Space India Limited is a commercial arm dealing with the uh, commercial arm of the ISRO. Okay. Now, GSAT 20 is a 7,400 kilogram high throughput satellite. High throughput satellite means, okay, why is GSAT necessary or what is the purpose of GSAT? Communication technology. Okay. So high throughput means compared to traditional communication satellites, these will be uh, transmitting more data or greater data. Okay. Higher efficiency. So these are high throughput satellite, which is fully owned and operated and also funded by New Space India Limited, which is a commercial arm actually of ISRO. And this was recently renamed as GSAT N2. It is the second demand driven satellite launched by N NSIL. Demand driven satellite means uh, we know who will be the beneficiary or what will be the use of end user. Okay. In short, we will be knowing about the details of the end user of the uh, satellites or what will be the purpose of the satellite, who will be uh, the say, stakeholders of the benefits of the satellites, etc. Okay. That is the demand driven satellite. So if I'm not wrong, GSAT 24 is the first demand driven satellite. Okay. Enabled by NSIL. Clear? Now, what is the significance? Significance is it is reusable. Two stage rocket for reliable and safe transport of people and payloads into the Earth orbit and beyond. It's reusable. Do India have a reusable rocket system? No. That is why we are depending on other countries. Okay. So, SpaceX is the which country? Yes, US. Okay. It's a two-stage rocket system. First stage will be always, first stage will be always, most of the cases, always regarding solid. Okay, first stage will be solid. Why solid is the first stage? To get enough energy for the initial thrust. Okay. Now, it will can carry over. This we are uh, speaking. Okay, we have left, I think. Oh, okay. So, we jumped into the next slide, that is why. It's a high capacity communication satellite that is meant to offer broadband services. Okay, why is GSAT 20 uh, significant? Because it is a high cap cap uh, capacity, I said it's a communication satellite. Okay, and also it is a high throughput satellite. That means it has the ability to transmit greater data compared to the traditional satellite system. Okay and is meant to offer broadband services, including in-flight and maritime connectivity services. Another important thing is we said that it offers pan-India coverage, including islands of Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep. Okay. And its high throughput capacity means its ability to transmit higher data is nearly 48 Gbps. Okay. This means that it will also accommodate the needs of unconnected and rural areas or remote regions as well. So what is the significance of this? It is a high capacity communication satellite. Okay. Including it connects the in-flight as well as maritime connections are also provided. And its high throughput capacity is nearly 48 Gbps. This means that it can connect even the remote areas as well. Okay. What is its coverage? It coverage whole of India along with our islands of Andaman, Nicobar, and Lakshadweep. Okay. As we, as I said before, this one is nearly 4,600, 4,700 kilogram uh, high, uh, of uh, capacity. Okay. So earlier we were using 
Ariana 5. Okay. For its transmission. Because we don't have uh, a rocket which will support uh, above 4000 kilograms. So, above 4,000 kilograms, earlier we were using Ariana 5 of European Space Agency. But this has now expired. Okay, that is why we are now relying on Falcon SpaceX, Falcon of Falcon 9 of SpaceX. Okay. So, regarding SpaceX Falcon 9, it's a reusable two-stage rocket system. As we said, during the rockets or in the rockets, mainly first stage will be solid to keep the initial thrust. Now, it's for reliable and safe transport. As we said, it's reusable means it will be brought back into the earth itself. So, it will help in even uh, transmission of people, etc. Okay. So, manned missions are possible and payloads into earth orbit and beyond. It can carry nearly uh, 8,300 kilograms into geosynchronous uh, transfer orbit. GTO is geosynchronous transfer orbit. And it is the world's first orbital class reusable rocket. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class reusable orbit or rocket. Okay. This means that we can have this or we can use this again and again. So it indirectly means that it is most cost effective compared to expendable ones. Expendable means which cannot be reused, which cannot be bro brought back into the Earth. Once it is used, it is spent. Expendable. SpaceX is of US. Clear? So, we are talking about GSAT-20. It is the high throughput capacity of nearly uh, 4,600 kilogram weight. So, it is transported through the with the help of SpaceX Falcon 9. Okay? Now, it's a communication satellite with higher efficiency. Okay, it is uh, come fully honored and fund funded by the New Space India Limited. Regarding SpaceX Falcon 9, it's a reusable rocket, so it is more cost, cost effective. And regarding important the sig uh, significance of uh, uh, GSAT 20 is it covers the remote and <clears throat> unconnected area as well. Nearly the uh, whole of India along with the islands are also covered. Okay.